Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, let's have a look on the gold market. Uh, again, so actually gold market right now is most most quiet market across the board. So you can see that nice performance stance on the euro currency in general on the forex market. Bonds also showing some activity. Gold market stands stubbornly flat. And uh, as we said, we suspect that market is a bit really overextended here. The uh, some hype that uh, was around this market in the previous month is starting to fade. Investors are turning their attention uh, back to the policy of the Fed, statistics, of the anticipating and trying to guess uh, where a particular Fed will start cutting rate. And uh, on all this background, the interest uh, may be to the gold market slightly uh, become lower. And uh, well, it seems that we still could get the deeper retracement on the gold market. Besides, we have the technical bearish context in place. As we already talked about this many times, we have double repo sale on a weekly chart that suggests drop somewhere to the 22 even. On a daily chart, we have a bearish trend, first of all, potential double top that might be forming. Take a look here. We also have some hint on the bearish divergence suggest drop below these lows. So it means that at least the confluence area should be reached based on the divergence pattern. So uh, that's a serious background uh, to postpone consideration on taking long position by foreign gold market. Those of you who trade in longer term, uh, longer term charts on the weekly and daily and who considered gold for investing. Um, if you intend to just increase your position or just buy gold, maybe it makes sense to wait and see for the lower levels. So at least this one, but I'm not excluded, that will be 22 if double repo really works. So we will see. But for now, the standing, as I said, it looks a bit bearish, but there's all other patterns in place. On the follow time frame chart, market keep going inside this flag which we also suggest it is bearish because, well, this performance shows the signs of the dynamic pressures. Market is dropping lower while the emissity shows upper tendency. Usually it happens before downside acceleration, at the eve of the downside acceleration. Another point to keep an eye on, especially if you're considering taking the short position, this level, 24 approximately. In fact, this is uh, the vital point, invalidation point for weekly double repo sell pattern. You can see market has really pretty room for a freedom here and led to keep weekly bearish context if even it will show some deep upward bounce. So only if market breaks 24, we could acknowledge that the double repo has failed on the weekly chart and we should be ready for upper continuation. Until this moment, nominal bearish uh, context will remain valid. And that makes it a bit difficult to choosing the point for stop placement because formally we could use just this consolidation for stop placement about this area. But in fact, if, if, if market even will, will appear at this point, it doesn't break the bearish context. So from that standpoint, this is really uh, the, the, some difficulties uh, exist here for, for, for choosing the right point for position taking. From that standpoint, maybe it makes sense to consider some particular patterns on the lower time frames on the 15 minute chart on 30 minute chart. If you have the patterns that is play, it is uh, easier to play stop based on the pattern. And if pattern has failed, so it will be significantly small potential loss. Uh, and you could just turn attention to some other uh, trading background. Do not use directly weekly uh, invalidation point for stop placement. Uh, on hourly chart, in general, our trading plan has worked uh, because once this downward action started, we said you could consider taking the short position because we suggest that market should challenge these lows. 
parts you can see uh, although lows has been challenged but they have not been broken and market right now stands upside bounce since market show is showing really wide swings here with deep retracements uh, i'm not excluding the way if uh, we will get return back somewhere to previous tops inside this channel you can see some few targets might be completed on the upper direction this is not yet the background for taking the new long position on the vehicle chart this is just for scalp traders if you would like to for us it is more important to, to consider levels where the theoretical market could stop in upper direction so currently op has been done 2340 and it seems that 2350 might become the next target xop and almost equal to target of this blue wider abcd pattern also guys i would like to show you interesting charts so if you compare uh retail broker chart particular four hour time frame and comics futures chart you will see the huge difference in the price performance so just take a look at this so if uh here you could see downside action right and this swing stands below the previous one on the futures chart you do not see it you see that there are above them so absolutely different picture right although it still remains bearish so here you could see some counting around in top and cap is forming here which is also potentially bearish but this is returning back to the question of uh, confirmation of the different pattern signals and other stuff always check the picture on the futures charts to confirm your trading ideas if you trade on retail broker chart because it is really big question where the retail broker gives the quotes and how it forms the price shape on the chart how it's happening so that's the thing that to keep an eye on currently we have to keep close look also on the futures for the time frame chart because it looks different and uh well we could potentially might be done different conclusions currently i think that they are the same here is the flag on the futures chart there's some rounding in top kind of the cup but just be aware of that and uh, don't forget about this so that's actually all that i would like to say about the gold right now um keep it short i wouldn't consider taking any longs if you're not scalper and you would like to deal with this um, for, for us i would consider a short position but uh seems uh, that mark is still following the shape of the flag or channel consolidation it means that here might be some continuation so i would focus uh on the next area to consider taking short position around 2350 and see what will happen around it